Today, the purpose of this video is to do my live consultations on TikTok. If anybody wants to come in the box or discuss something in the comment, if you can't get in the box, because you can't get in the box unless you have like a thousand or more subscribers. But hey, Molly Mall. But in any case, you could type in the comments anything, any questions that you might have. But today, I want to talk about a topic, just in case nobody have anything to say or want to come up in the box. I want to talk about a certain topic as it relates to something I find that's common in consultations that people come to me. The people that have been through some type of trauma, they've been through some type of um, dis-ease or disharmony, and they feel as if they can't, maybe they can't trust anybody, maybe they don't feel worthy, they don't, don't feel loved or whatever or they lack communication, self-expression, the inability to speak their truth, you know. <laughs> so today on purpose, I want to talk about feminine energy. I want to talk about being able to express how you feel. And this don't, this not just related to women, Molly Mall, because I see Molly Mall up in here. <laughs> this not just women, this is men too. Because a lot of men in the physical reality do not know how to communicate because they too have been told, suck it up, be a man, man up, don't cry, and all this crazy stuff. And so when women, sometimes women, we get into survival mode when maybe our partner leave us, daddy left us, or some type of male figure left us, and now we have to show up for everybody, we the big sister or something. And so now we get into survival mode, and survival mode pretty much means you in masculine energy too. And so, you know, being an overachiever sometimes in, in life, that puts you in this survival mode. And I'm saying feminine energy because it lies around being able to communicate how you feel. Most often than not, if you pay attention to your spoken word, there are a lot of people that walk around in the physical reality that just tells it as it is. They use no adjectives. They speak not from their heart. All they're doing is just talking from the mind, from the thoughts, from the logical, from the masculine state of being. Now, here's the thing about feminine energy as it pertains to women and men. It can help you with relationships. It can help you with manifestation. It can help you um, exude a part of you or open up a part of you that you've been masking. It can help you heal your inner girl, your little child. It can help you with sexual seduction. It can help you in a marriage. It can help you on a job. It can help you be able to manipulate the energy in your physical reality and get people to yield to you. It can help you with your imag imagination. And the imagination is really God, your human imagination. How are you going to quantum jump into another realm? At least you know how to touch, taste, feel, and experience that thing. It can help you with manifestation. It can help you with your affirmation. It can help you in so many ways. But a lot of people don't know. They think feminine energy means to just put some lipstick on and get your nails done and your hair done. That's got to be done all the time. And you got to have them eyebrows on point. And you got to, you, no, that, that don't have nothing to do with what I'm talking about today. It is not the physical. It is a state of being. It's the ability to be able to effectively communicate and speak your truth from your heart. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so you're healing your heart when you are speaking from the heart. And so that's a lot of people that come to me and that be like their homework. So for the purpose of this particular live, since I'm talking about live conversations, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about feelings and how you feel. And keep in mind, remember, when you open up this part of yourself, how you feel. People, everybody in your reality, the people in your reality don't want to hear all the crappiness. Okay, it's good to let the, 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 the not so good stuff come out because you got to purge from that and you got to heal from that. And when that comes out, you got to ask yourself, why am I feeling that? And you got to go general and ask, give yourself another feeling to let those things out. But what I'm saying here is everybody don't want to hear your crappiness. Oh, I feel sad. Oh, I feel like you're not paying attention to me. Oh, I feel like this is all that low frequency stuff. To you. Everybody don't want to know what's wrong. Have your feminine energy. When you start to do this, as I teach how to do it, speak more of the good than the bad. Because everybody, they, we don't want to hear all of that bad stuff. I know I don't. Like, I go through TikTok sometimes, and when, when I hear, oh, oh no, I, I won't hear that. Nope, you watch the news, I, I'm going to go up in another room. Up, oh, you listen to trap music, I don't want to have that in my subconscious mind. Up. Oh, 
Because everybody don't resonate with your bad. But people like to hear the good in relationships and men try to be that superman for you when you start to stroke that equal and make them feel good. They be ready to come and save the day. As far as the law of assumption, if you feel good, you're going to want to go and quantum jump in that state of reality. And by you feeling good, your subconscious mind don't know if this thing that you're feeling good about is happening right now or not. But guess what your subconscious mind going to do? It's going to yield to you. It's going to create a bridge of incidents for you to just walk over so you can experience that thing in your physical reality because you just felt good. Because you just knew how to attune yourself to your heart and your feelings and express from your heart what you wanted. I'm feeling good right now based upon me being in a place that felt good before I got here. I manifested this feel good. I felt this place before I got here. And so my subconscious mind had to yield this house to me because I already smelt it. I already taste through the thing. I already walked barefooted on these floors. I already experienced that day. So this is very, very, very important. I have too much. I'm always crying. <laughs> That's all right. You cry and crying is nothing. Nothing is wrong with crying. It's like you're renting your heart off and learning how to love you. It's just like you're embodying the totality of God. And sometimes that love of God is so much that you you will weep. Sometimes it's so, so, so heavy on your heart that you will weep. So rinse yourself off from whatever trauma, whatever pain that caused them tears by crying. And then, then you, you realize that your cry, your tears are no longer sad tears because there isn't such thing of, as crying the happiest tears of your life, you know? So here we go. Here's an example. What are you doing? When people ask you, what are you doing? You answer them in the feminine aspect to say how you are feeling. Like say for instance, you in a relationship and this is, this is, the, this is an emotional connection that some people have in relationships that a lot of people don't get. You ever seen them people that, um, they have like somebody that's real, real handsome. And maybe a, a, um, a lady that looked like a humpback whale. I'm not trying to be ugly, but, you know, just using some adjectives there. <laughs> and she with this man, and into your eyes in the physical reality, you're like, how in the heck did she get to be with him? It's an emotional connection. She spoke, she had the ability to speak to him with her heart. She intertwined with him, with, her, with his soul. So here's the thing. When somebody asks you, what you doing? What's up? What's going on? You could immediately open up your heart to them and say how you feel. So if somebody was to ask me, I'll give you an example. If somebody was to ask me right now in this moment, what am I doing? Oh, I feel so comfortable right now. I'm doing what I love the most. I feel so happy to be in this place. This is the place that I manifested. I'm on a live right now, talking to my reflections and all the joy, the joy that I feel in my heart. <laughs> this is something that I always wanted to do, but I never really had time to do. I feel so happy that I have time now. I feel so happy that I can just do everything that I want to do now that I'm retiring and I, now that I'm retired and I manifested the life that I desire. So I'm sitting here on this chair and the temperature in this room feels so comfortable. It feels like I'm at home. I'm at peace. I'm at peace in my mind. I'm at peace with my soul. Nothing can go wrong for me. Everything feels so perfect for me. I love where I am in life. I love how my life is unfolding for me. I love being in a position to help other people every single day. All the joy that fills my heart. When I open up my emails and they're all positive things about how I touch somebody's life. Can you imagine how amazing it feels that I know that I'm leaving a legacy behind? I feel so jazzy today. I got my natural hair out today. I feel so refreshed that I shampooed my hair and I cut it. Oh, yeah. I feel like feminine energy. I feel so much like feminine energy that I wore the moon symbol today. Yeah, because the moon is feminine energy, and I feel so connected with my feminine energy that I decided to adorn myself to show that I am connected and always taking care of myself. I feel so happy. I feel so free. I feel so excited. 
Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing today? You see what I'm going where I'm going here? You see what I'm saying here? Hey goddess. Hey or Orinda. You see where I'm going here? It's about talking about how you feel. Now let me show you how this helps you because not only is it going to help you speak your truth, but just different realms of how it will help you. Me telling how I feel. So if say for example, that was a guy that was on the phone. Now guess what? Oh, thank you, baby. Guess what I just did? I just opened up my heart to that guy that was on the phone talking to me by telling him using additives to say how I felt. I opened up my heart. Now, I did something with this guy that his partners can't do. <laughs> I showed him feminine energy. Had I said, well, I'm sitting up here about to go change my oil. You know, I got to do everything for myself because ain't, ain't nobody here. Oh, yeah, I'm putting out this trash, this stink, and oh, yeah, I got to, you know, I got to do this live because I, you know, I got to hustle. You know, I'm trying to do da 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 da. I'm trying to whatever, whatever you say for doing purposes. If I say what I'm doing, I'm in my masculine energy. But when I said what I was feeling, I opened up my heart to that guy. You see the difference? So in let's let's move that on to affirmations. Affirmations and quantum jumping is the same because guess what you're saying. You, you, when you do your affirmations, you, you're saying, I feel worthy. I feel happy. What does love look like? What does joy feel like? You're, you're in tune with your feelings. You have to be or your affirmation ain't going to go nowhere to your physical reality. And if you're saying an affirmation that don't feel good, you're doing yourself disjustice. Yeah, it depends upon where he lives. If he up on his mic. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. You read about that. But anyway, besides ATL. So <laughs> So you wanna be able to do this with your affirmations too, because you wanna melt with the feeling, right? You wanna be able to quantum jump into that state of being because feminine energy is about being, it is not about doing. And so the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because oftentimes the people that I consult with, they don't even know how to say how they feel. They they were like, what? What are you what are you what are you asking me? What you mean how I feel? I mean I'm alright. You see what I'm saying? And if so if you're in a place in your journey where you just I'm alright, I mean I'm fine, what? What you talking about? Then you're the example of the person I'm talking about. Not being able to effectively communicate and speak your truth. So you're the person that have your card chained up. It's broken, but then you still on top of it, it's chained up. You got a barbed wire fence around it. You got canines around it because nobody really know how you feel. Everybody think you got everything under control because you got the heart locked up. Everybody sends you even more work to do because you look like you got everything going right. Because you're an overachiever in your life. Because you're protecting everybody, including your heart. You're the macho, no matter if you're a feminine a woman or a man. You're the macho. And even for men, men get depressed too, yeah. Men struggle with their thoughts every day too, yeah. So how are you going to release that energy? At least you tell somebody how you feel. At least you open up your heart because we want to see how beautiful you are. We don't want to experience all the things that you're doing. When your physical body turns out, it's going to be how things make you feel or how you feel about the people that you're about to leave behind in the physical reality. It's going to be all about feelings, not doing. You ain't going to be thinking about, man, I should have I should have changed that oil. I, I should have I should have repaired that roof. Oh, I'm about to die. I don't have time. I should have I should have graduated. No, you're going to be focused on how was the journey? How did it feel to you? So right now in the physical reality, this is a conversation tip for you all today. Start talking about how you feel. Open up your heart. I feel so happy that you're in my life. 
I feel so lucky to be here to your partner, you know? I feel like we've grown so much in this relationship, and I've, I feel like you were made for me. I feel like, man, I'm whole on this journey, and I got another whole version of myself on this journey with me, too. That feels so amazing, because a lot of people don't have that, what we have. Oh, Katie, I feel so good. I feel so comfortable with you. Even even during your day-to-day -day activities, talk about how you feel so people could understand you deeper for the relationships that you care about. But here's the thing. Understand that you are both feminine and masculine. I'm not talking about just being this little dumb blonde here, like they do feminine energy and being, you know, you the dumb blonde and, oh my God, I can't pick up again, or you no know, crazy stuff. I ain't talking about going there with it. I'm talking about understanding that you are the totality of God, understanding that you have yin and yang energy, understanding that, okay, I'm going to tell you how I feel. And how I feel is not dependent upon you coming save my day or doing anything for me. It's pretty cool if I can manipulate my energy for you to attune yourself to me. But ultimately, I understand that I am responsible for my own energy, my own feelings. And I still have the activity of my limbs to be able to jump into my masculine side of me when I need it. Because it is necessary. Because it is represents who I am, what I am, because even God and its totality is the giver of life and the taker away, the author and the finisher. And so I am an expression of God. Therefore, I have feminine energy and I have masculine energy. And being that I am the observer of this energy, observing myself having this human experience, I know how to manipulate the energy and I choose wisely when I use my feminine, then I choose wisely when I use my masculine. Both of them are necessary and I love them both. And I'm not judging myself because I feel too feminine. I'm not judging myself because I feel too masculine. No, I know how to create a healthy, harmonious balance within myself because everything in this life is going to be about a healthy balance. <laughs> Hey, Lionheart, thank you for being here, babe. Y'all understand what I'm saying here? This is so important. This is so important. A lot of people don't get this here. It's been a, it, it, they spend a lot of their lifetime wondering what, 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 what's, what's wrong. What's wrong? Well, the, ain't nothing wrong, but could you open up your heart and, and let us see how beautiful you are? And the way you open up your heart is to tell us those sweet nothings. Not how you feel. Th 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 that's how you do it. You open up the mouth and tell us how you feel. How to attract the best partner. Be. Be it. Be whatever. Write down everything that you want in what is your version of the best partner and be it. And you have it is law that you have to run into you. You will run into you, but you gotta be doing it. And see, that's that's what they mean pretty much in the biblical text about being e unequally yoked. <laughs> that's what the you know how they have like the so-called lady well no no let me pull that one back those so-called women in the physical reality and they be like yeah well i'm going after the bag and and i want a man that do da 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 and i want you know i deserve the best but but they don't have a signal that says that i'm worthy mm -mm, they signal ain't saying i'm worthy of it they think no ain't saying I am it already because if you are it already, then 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 your longing, your heart, desire for it won't be as solid. Where well, you have to run behind it to create resistance. You are it, and so if you are it, the universe gonna give you what you are, reflection of you already. <laughs> so you have to run into that person that loves the way you love, that is the way you are, that's that's. That's showing you you're worthy because you're sending out a signal that you are worthy. That's how you attract it, based upon what you are. So if, if you want if you want somebody that, that that's health conscious, have a healthy lifestyle. If you want somebody that has um, effective communication skills, learn how to open up your heart and speak your truth. 
If you want somebody that is a provider, you learn how to provide the things that your soul, the Lord, the part of you need. Basically, what I'm saying to you is you have to be that twin flame first to receive them. You have to be a soulmate to yourself. And when I say to yourself, I'm talking about that little girl version of yourself. You got to get reunited with her. That teenager version of yourself. You got to make sure that she feeling as good as the adult version of yourself. You have to mix your yin and yang because that's your yin and yang energy. You have to mix your yin with your yang. That little girl that was in that closet that may feel like nobody trusts her. You have to be the person that shows her that she can release that energy and trust again. And so you have to become one. You have to intertwine with yourself and be one with yourself. And that's when everything is drawn to you. The biblical text said like this here, if I be lifted up, then I'll draw all things to me. That's what it means. You lifting up yourself. You filling up your cup. So your cup has overflow. And then you give everybody some of your overflow, but you never give them what's in your cup. But a lot of people, we're in adult bodies and we operating with, with a cup. They don't have nothing in it. Or if we do have something in it, we'll find somebody to latch on. Oh, oh. Or we'll find something to latch on a car or a job. Oh, oh. I love that thing. So I don't have a full cup, but I'm going to give that little thing right there all that I have inside of my cup. I'm going to give it all. And so when that thing expires, whether it's the job, whether it's the man or whatever it was that you gave your little, all your little substance to, now you empty. Now you want to jump off of the bridge. Now you depressed. Now you discombobulated because you gave of your essence from your cup when that was supposed to be for you. And you was only supposed to be giving people overflow. So here's how you fill up the cup. You fill up, up the cup becoming one with yin and yang. Little girl and adult. And you become one with it, little boy or the grown man. You become one with it when you understand that it is yin and yang. And you need it to express how it feels. So you begin to ask yourself questions like, what do we want to do today? And so in your mind, you know you're talking to your little girl or your little boy. What feels good today? What do you feel like doing? Oh, today I feel like going live. Yeah, I feel like going live. I, I have abundance right now, and my cup running over, so I want to share. Oh, I ain't going to charge nobody. It's just something I do all the time. I, I want them to get it because I want to be able to help other people. That feels good to us. Yeah, that feels good. And so your little girl or your little boy be on board with that. When I go out, like I went, I went out to this place called Slide Rock out here in Sedona. I went to Slide Rock, and the elevation is like 6,000 out there. Now, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I will be underneath, you know, below sea level out there in New Orleans. So I go out to Slide Rock and all of these mountains, and it's so high. I'm thinking about the religious song, climbing the stairwell to heaven. I'm like, Lord, this is a lot. But it was me and the little girl being that I was by myself, and I went by myself on purpose. Me and that little girl, I'm like, oh, I'm tired. Are you nervous? Yes, I'm nervous, but it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun when we get to Slide Rock because the temperature of the water is like 50 degrees and it's almost like 110 outside and the combination of the cold plus the heat is going to be so exciting, so thrilling, so rewarding. I, rewarding. I can't wait till we get there. I can't wait. It's going to be exciting. And so when I get there, this is my habitual thinking, like, right? So when I get to that state of being with her because how I feel matters, how I feel sends a signal to everybody in my simulated environment, in my reality, <laughs> to even to my manifestations, if I'm ready, if I'm in a not alignment or not. So since I'm sending out this signal, how I feel matters. And so when I get there, I'm happy. I'm joyous too. And I could feel like a little girl in inside while I'm sliding down the mountain with a little joy. <laughs> but see, here's the thing about these women. Women don't know how to bring a little girl out no more because we spend so much time trying to be validated by men. We spend so much time giving away our life force to other people. We spend so much time 
in our masculine, in survival mode when we when we had the baby, and now we got to be mother and father, sister, brother, the gardener, the therapist, in all these roles, and don't no longer know how to be easy with ourselves. So that's how you do it. In your mind, you have a conversation with the, the, the little girl, the little boys inside of you, and you make sure that he or she is feeling good. And when you're around other people, you speak your truth in the form of, I feel. And so when I got there, speaking of this here little sly rock um, place that I went to, when I got there, being that I was by myself, I had a bag, right? I had a carrying bag, and of course I had my cell phone because I wanted to take a little video. The video of it is on my TikTok. I wanted to do a little video, right? And I'm like, oh my God, in my habitual thinking with my little girl inside of me, oh my gosh, this looks like so much fun and so perfect. You want to go for a slide? You want to go? I think it's going to be fun. And so I go down the slide, but before I went, I asked this, this uh, white lady, I was like, um, could you could you watch my bag right quick? I, I, and, could you, and could you record me too? Because I, I got to get a video of this. So in my mind, I'm like, we got to have memory of this here. Experienced little girl version of me that never used to do these little things when you were younger because you were so busy in survival mode, so busy trying to be tough, so busy trying to hold your emotions inside. We weren't about to let it all out. And so I asked this lady to record me. And so when I went down the slide, it was real, real slippery, these mountains. And I just let the little girl come out and just wee and slide down the slide because it felt good. Because how I feel matters. Not because I'm childish and you let you have people in the physical reality saying, oh, that's childish. Grow up. No, no, don't grow up. Because children haven't figured out them adults and got programmed. And so it's the adults that now I consult with to help them reprogram their mind to go back to the child. Just like in the biblical text, you can't make it into the kingdom unless you come as a child. Why is that? Because a child knows how to use his human imagination. A child knows how to play with his imaginary friend, with his, with his, with his favorite blanket. A child knows how to go to sleep and imagine that Santa Claus is coming down the chimney. A child knows these things, but them adults, they, uh, girl, they ain't real. God darn it, I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> I just don't want you to believe that fairy tale. I don't want you to believe that because it's not real. How dare you tell somebody what's real in their reality and not? <laughs> How dare you destroy these precious children that came forth from all knowing, infinite intelligence, understanding that all is abundance, all is mind, all is consciousness, and you tear them down into the program that you want them to have, and then they have to, years later, Deal with themselves and reprogram themselves from what you program them to be. That limited way of thinking, that limited way of being. When they came forward knowing that all is God, that there is abundance. No mommy, four minus three is not one mommy, it's six. And they get, and they, and they, and they get a butt whooping because in their mind, in their mind, there's no such thing as one. In their mind still, there's no such thing as zero. What do you mean if there's no more? All is God. There's an abundance everywhere, mommy. But, but we, we, we beat that out of them. And so I, in the consultations, I'm trying to install back us knowing how we feel. Do you know how you feel right now? How do you feel right now, goddess? How do you feel right now, lion? How do you feel? Imagination is real. It's real for the person that's imagining it. Because imagination is, is what God, imagination has got us here. Imagination allows you to see me right now. Because really and truly we are the nothingness that was on the face of the deep in the so-called beginning of the recreation process. We thought this thing up. In the beginning was the word. The word is an expression of thought. And God, of course, energy, consciousness, however you look at it, said, let there be. So how do you say let there be, least you not go into the imagination process and think it how you want it to be? <laughs> this is why if you're thinking now robbery to do equal with God, because you've been this here life force imagination 
And it starts with you today being able to say, how you feel? So how do you feel? Does anybody feel something today? How do you feel? How do you feel using an adjective? How do you feel? Do you know how you feel? Somebody got to tell you how you feel. You need how you feel to manifest, to heal your broken heart. You need how you feel for your relationship. Everybody wants to know how you feel. They're trying to read your energy because, and, and sometimes that's lying to them. Sometimes you're hiding how you feel inside. But what we really want to know from you, from your mouth, from the abundance of your heart, how do you feel? I love it. You got it. I feel excited with what you're saying. Lion says, I feel gratitude. Yes, that's the key to it. And so now, 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 so in relationships, in relationships, you, 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 you got the magic touch where you know how to talk about how you feel. When, when, okay, if, let's say, for example, if a, it's a man, it's a man talking to a woman, and he's like, oh, babe, I feel so lucky to have you. You, you know, you know I be, how I be feeling when, when you put that lingerie on. You know what you be doing to me when you talk such and such to me. You make me feel so satisfied when I come home and you got a full course meal waiting for me. Now you done told her how you feel. Now guess who gonna be up in the kitchen ready to cook? Cause she gonna want more of that. Ooh, he, ooh, I do this to him? Ooh, yeah. All right, sexual seduction. Let's, let's talk about it like this, how you feel. Like, okay, you, you, you know, now we all got here because somebody had a nut, right? Okay, let's go there because y'all could relate to that really easy. Let's go there. So if you're trying to sexually or seduce somebody, like if you're talking about sex, you got to use adjectives, how you feel. Oh, it feels so bad. It feels so nice. I feel so excited. Oh, it feels bad. You turn me on. Oh, yeah. How you feel matters there too, you see? If you are a woman... Talking on the phone with a guy, how you feel matters. Let's talk about that. We're on the phone, we laying down in the bed. Oh, babe. Oh, babe, I feel so comfortable underneath these sheets. This mattress feels so comfortable. The bed feels so cozy and warm. Oh, I wish you could glide up in these cup underneath these covers, big daddy. Oh, the sound of your voice. Oh my god, I just love the sound of your voice. I can't wait till you get off, big daddy. Can you go watch my world? Guess what I'm wearing underneath these cups. How you feel matters there too. Okay, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna go to 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 to, to quantum jumping. Let's quantum jump. What we want, what we want, what we want, what do we want? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We want we wanna go, we wanna own land, we wanna own houses, we 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 wanna have abundance, maybe. We wanna be free. We want we don't want work no more. Oh my god. It feels so it feels so exciting being able to wake up and do everything that I want to do. Oh, I have a big old fat ass, juicy ass bank account. <laughs> I get so tickled every time I log in. It feels so exciting because I feel like the luckiest person in the world. I manifested the key to soar. I feel like I have the key to something really, really juicy that the others don't even know that the key is just I love the way the, feet, the wind feels on my face as I'm riding on my yacht. <laughs> I feel so tickled that I have a butler up in there that's catering to my needs. I feel so comfortable wearing this tiki because I might just go out and let the, the sun kiss my skin and jump into this ocean. Because this clear blue water, I know it's hydrated. I know it's full of minerals. I know it's going to bring me chills. I can feel the chills right now. But the drill that I'm going to have when I jump off this yacht in my two feet makes me feel like a little girl. Oh, I'm excited about it. So you need it. You need it. In every aspect of your life, you need to be able to speak that's the part of feminine energy 
that a lot of the women that have the lipstick and the makeup on, they don't know how to do because they have, they have looked the part, but they'll be walking around booted up because a little girl or a little boy inside of them never been able to come out the closet and talk about how they felt. They don't even know what an adjective is because they're so busy doing instead of being. And in this reality, you can cheat. This is your cheat code by being it. You ain't got to do it because your subconscious mind is the doer for you. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's see. I want a new work schedule ASAP. And so you jump into that. I feel so lucky that I have a new work schedule. Now on weekends, I get to do exactly what I want. When you are there on the job in the current work schedule, you are not complaining. You are not complaining. You are playing like using your human imagination that you are off every moment you get. While you are typing, you can take a breather. Oh, I feel so good to be up in my bed. Oh, what am I going to do today? Nobody got to know that you're not typing in that time and space. Oh, what am I going to do today? And you play that scene out in your head while you're there. And you look at that human, I'm sorry, that physical reality as if it, it, it is an expression of your old thought. And it is. That is the truth. It is your old thought. But your new thoughts are coming. Your new imaginational scene is coming. Once you get it energy or life force by doing it more than one time, constantly jumping into that state of being, it is law. It has to come. At least you don't give it enough energy. At least you give up on it. It has to come. It's law. It has to come. So right now in everybody's physical reality, today is an expression of what they thought up on there yesterday. But you have, we have, I have the ability to change even this to something greater if I choose to. But if I don't sit there and give the energy to the next thing, the next great thing, it's not going to come. Because as a man think it, so is he. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it today. Do it today. And so you're giving the energy to it while you're there. You're giving the energy to it when you're off. You drift off to sleep thinking about it because that, that's going to... I'm sorry about that. You drift off to sleep while you're in that state of being, that subconscious mind fully woke, absorbing that imaginary scene and bringing you to that state of being. You drift off to sleep, sleep with it. Just like the children the day before Christmas. <laughs> they be doing it. They do it weeks before Christmas. They drift off to sleep. Thinking about all the things that Santa is going to bring to them. Thinking about how it's going to feel when Christmas morning comes. And they feel so excited about it. Them children just sat there and successfully conjured up energy. Conjured up energy. And some of the parents wasn't going to get them X, Y, and Z. But because that child was in that room night after night, going and drifting into that brainwave frequency where subconscious mind is wide open thinking about that thing that child made mama and daddy yield to its thoughts <laughs> yes that child did that child was using his or her superpower to create its reality not what mama and daddy said mama and daddy probably was sitting up there saying i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get such and such but mama and daddy was able to make a way because that God in that child manifested. And it knew how to create its reality. I don't care what you're saying, mom and daddy. I'm going to sleep thinking about it. And so when they wake up Christmas morning, they're yielding to their manifestation because they have superpower. They manipulated the energy on you because they're tuned in like that. They, they, ain't, they ain't out of the program like the adults. Like, what, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I create my own reality. So how do I do that? Like, oh, how to use my imagination? Well, well, how do I do that? Well, I think I'm numb. I don't even know what you're talking about. 
See, that's what that's where most of the adults be at. Like, what do you mean how I feel? I mean, I'm all right. That that's 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 how that's how the adults be. They like this sounds too simple. This sounds too easy. What do you? I don't know if this is gonna work. But in the biblical text, it says, "I'll take the foolish things in the world to confound the wise." Yeah, yeah. That's the universe. That was the universe confirming them, definitely. So that that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you all. We all have this this innate ability, the innate ability to tap into source energy. But that's when we're ready. That's when we're ready to rewrite our story, be real with ourselves, open up our hearts. And, and, and one thing about it, on your spiritual journey, it's, it's pertaining again to your heart and your feminine energy. Your heart is an electromagnetic field of energy. It has the power to draw others to you when you're using it. But a lot of people don't want to use this superpower because they're so bitter and they may have maybe bitter people because maybe they've been hurt. Maybe they didn't understand the power of using their heart. Maybe they weren't in balance with using their heart, but then knowing when to use their masculine energy. But here's the thing when it comes to um, spirituality. <laughs> You know how they talk about chakra pools of energy? By you also opening up your heart and talking about how you feel, you heal your own self. Every chakra. The most important chakra to open would be that of your heart first. Because when you open it, it has the power to penetrate and open up the others. Let's say, for example, you operate in survival mode because you're misindependent. You don't need a man. You don't need nobody to do nothing for you, right? Okay, okay, okay. We see, we see, we see. But if you open up that heart, though, <laughs> if you open up that heart, then guess guess who coming? A man, because guess what's going to happen? When you open up that heart, you're going to open up that sacral chakra, that root chakra. And because when you open up that heart, you, you're going to open up that creative ability down there. Yeah, that's part of your sacral chakra. When you open up that heart, you instantly are going to know that I am that I am, so you're no longer going to be in the survival mode. The reason why you know that you, I am that I am, because you're going to know that I am. It's all that matters. I am wealthy. I am worthy. I am beautiful. I am God. That's how you're going to tap into the I am of yourself. And so simply just by opening up your heart. For me, when I opened up my heart, I had thyroid issues, but when I opened up my heart, guess what? From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, right? And so I cleared that chakra and it was all tied to me being such an introvert and keeping my mouth shut on purpose. But guess what? I opened up my heart and look at who's talking. And a lot of people, my physical reality now, they're like, you, you so far not an introvert. What are you talking about? But no, oh, you recognize me because I done opened up my heart. That, that's what you see. You see that I opened up my heart. And then some people be like, well, oh my God, there's something about your voice. You should narrate books. Oh, oh, you just see that I opened up my heart. That's what you see. So since I opened up my heart now, now my throat chakra is able to effectively speak and communicate. Now I'm in tune. Now I am in balance. Oh, so you see my balance. That's what you see. Why do you see that? Because I opened up my heart. You see how that goes? <laughs> open up your heart. Open up your heart, baby. Thank you. Thank you, Johnson. I appreciate that, baby. Open up your heart and tell people how beautiful life is when you go outside you can practice it like this here it don't have to be with no man it don't have to be with no no uh, quantum jumping it could be in your right now state of being when you go outside open up your heart to the universe and tell yourself and your inner thoughts oh i feel so electrified by the sun oh look how beautiful the roses are i bet you they smell good i feel excited to see them let me go and smell this oh it smells it smells so divine. Oh, it feels so soft. Oh, look at how beautiful that baby is. That baby looks so delicate. Oh, it smells like a newborn baby, too. The skin is just so soft. I remember, I remember when my children were that small and they had that soft baby feel and that, that fresh smell about them, too. Oh, their eyes. Look at how beautiful and innocent that baby's eyes is. Just like they see a multitude of angels from where they come from. Look at how happy. Oh, my God. It tickles my soul when that baby laughs. Oh, look at the dog. Oh, the dog. 
the dog knows how to stay in alignment. Oh, I, I, I love observing dogs. They're so loyal. They're so forgiving. They always know how to get back to that happy state of being. Oh, look at the trees. The trees of pure consciousness. Oh, look at the trees just sitting there allowing. I love to look upon things that know how to allow. I'm learning that too. I'm learning how to allow. Just like the tree that stood by the water, it should not be moved. And the tree is, wait, hold up, the tree is asking. I can feel that the tree is asking. The tree asks for sunshine every day. And when it rains, the tree is going to be asking for water. Oh my goodness, I could feel the wisdom coming from that tree. Oh, look at the ground. From dust thou art and dust thou shalt return. The ground is nothing but me. Yeah, just all of the minerals in the ground. I have those same minerals inside of me. The iron, <laughs> the zinc. Wait, hold up. This is a reflection of me. I love experiencing me. I love experiencing myself like this here. Oh, look at the dark sky. Oh, that ain't nothing but me too. <laughs> I love sitting out here experiencing myself. That's my darkness. That's the darkness that I stem from. That's my origin. That's my melanin. That's my ancestry. I feel like they always with me. I feel like they walk with me. They talk with me. They lead me. They guide me. Look at the stars. I'm part of that stardust. <laughs> Reminding myself. On a journey, just I just felt like reminding myself that I know how to shine again. I feel like that star. I feel so bright and so vibrant, so alive like that star. <laughs> I love life. I can find love in life, and I can find how I feel by looking upon energy. Because everything is me. I am everything we push out. I never feel alone. I feel so plural. I feel so part of. I feel so energetic. I feel so alive. I can feel love in everything. Because everything is love. Everything is my love. I can feel my cup running over as I talk about the things outside of me. Hmm. As I talk about the things that I feel outside of me, I can talk about the love within me because I have so much to give. Because it don't take much for me to experience me. Anytime I want to feel happy, all I have to do is ask myself, since I'm God, since I'm tapped into everything, all I got to do is ask myself, show me what happiness is. And then I'll get a picture, I'll get a remem you know, remembrance of a moment, a state of time when I was happy. And then I'll grab hold of that happiness and I could close my eyes and I could just let the picture go away. But I hold on to that happiness in my heart. And so I, I, with that in mind, I don't, I don't have to feel sad. I don't have to feel lonely. I don't have to feel depressed. Any feeling that I want, any high frequency that I want, all I have to do is call it forth. I don't really have to go nowhere. I don't have to go on that vacation because I'm going on that vacation thinking that I have to go over there to experience thrills. But no, I can sit right here and be still and know that I'm God because I know how to feel. I know how to be in tune with myself. I know how to exude that feminine energy. I know how to let my little girl come out and play. A lot of people they ain't tapped into this here. See, they think they got to go out there and do when really life is about going in here and be. Yeah, I feel good. I feel lucky. I feel excited that I know this here. I feel so excited that I want to share it with, it with everybody that's on this live today because they too need to know how to feel good. No matter where they are. Because how they feel now. And they're not about to get to another round. At least they feel worthy about getting to that next round. You see where I'm going here? This is so important. So you can sit there and you can tell your, your shitty stories over and over. You can sit there and tell what is over and over. But that allows for you to stay right there on that energetic state of being. 
Keep on telling it like it is, and five years gonna pass, and you're gonna still be like it is. Ten years gonna pass, and you're still gonna be on that job saying, well, why I didn't get the promotion? Because you were telling it like it is. Remember when you got off the off the work and you called everybody and told it like it was? I can't stand them people on my job. It gets on my nerves. I'm so tired of being there. I, I ain't gonna never get the promotion. I'm never going to be able to retire. You told it like it is. Congratulations. The blessing of God is yea and amen. And that's your blessing. You're going to keep on getting what is. Or you could go in. And you could create a new world. By knowing how you feel. By creating a new feeling. Y'all getting this? <laughs> Y'all getting this? Hey, Purpose. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for being here, babe. Hey, Empress, let's see. Hello, how do we decipher? What's best for us to manifest? By, what, by asking yourself, what do you want? So you go down the spiral because you have the answer to all of this here because you're God and your reality. You go down the spiral of um, seeing what's best for you. And so you ask yourself, why? So say, for example, say, for example, I was to ask myself, <clears throat> why? Like, okay, so I just manifested early retirement and in a move, like, right? So, I would say, so why do I want this? Why do I want early retirement? Well, because I want to feel, I want to free up my time. But why? Why do you want to free up your time? What, what are you going to do when you free up your time, though? What does freeing up your time feel like? Well, it, it, it feels like freedom to me. It feels like freedom because, you know, I'll be free to do what I want to do. But why? Well, what do you want to do? What, what is it? Well, I want to be in a position to be able to help people more and to be, do more lives and do more conversations and to promote my own business. And But why? Because I feel like it's my gift. I feel like the larger part of me came forward to go through all of these things to be in a position to help other people. I feel like I feel like this here is is something that I'm doing for the all and not just for me. Oh. So when you get to a place where you understand what the feeling is, like I said, the freedom. So now you, I understand it. it's going to make me feel free. So I can use the feeling of feeling free in my current or past experience to milk it to get here. I could feel free there already and it'll speed up me getting here if I was still over there. But I did that questioning attitude because I wanted to get to the core. And to answer your question, to decipher what is best for us is when you find yourself wanting to do it because it will put you in a position to help other people or help the all, that's when you know what is best. <laughs> when it has some little sprinkly juice, you know how we talk about the cup that we need to feel and let other people experience the overflow. When it has some of that overflow juice, that's how you know it is best. <laughs> because having that overflow juice is equivalent for your soul expansion. You see what I'm saying? Like, say, yeah, people just want money. Well, yeah, okay, you want money because what? So you and your family could be okay? Come on, dig a little deeper. Dig a little deeper with that. <laughs> what are you going to do? What, how is it going? What is it going to be for you? How is life going to be for you now? You going? What you going to give back? Hmm? Because this is life. You we, we're constantly expanding, right? So what are you giving back to the all for the sole purpose, the larger scheme of things? Not about. It's not about the car. It's not about getting. A, a new house and all that but what about the all oh, what about your soul progression that's how you decipher when it's best for you because now your soul is expanding now with me with my having my time my creative ability has expanded now with me being in a position to help other people not only am i helping those other people but i'm helping myself too because those other people are a reflection of me and they remind me to keep my frequency up to par they remind me because every day they emailing me telling me how I touch their life. So if I'm ever in a state of being where I just don't feel like it no more, all I got to do is just open up my TikTok. 
All I got to do is open up my YouTube channel. All I got to do is open up one of my business uh, emails and just read something. All right, up, oh, that'll do it. Because when I move, they move. And I am helping the all. Not just me and my, my children and my partner. No, no, it's for the great good of the all, for the soul. That's how I would decipher. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's see. Uh, this is great, thank you. You're welcome, Psalms Coconuts. I like that name. You are very much aware, yeah. And it starts with being aware of self. Awareness of self where is where it's all starting, like, right? Hey, Jess. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Hey, Peggy. Yes, thank you for the gems. Yeah. And so when you do that, when it's for the all, oh, the universe, it's almost like it expedites everything. The universe makes way for you then when it's for the all. Wait, hold up, hold up. She going to give back to the collective? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. We got to get her from Louisiana to Arizona where she needs to be. Oh, we got to get her retired. Oh, oh, wait, hold up. Let me make way for her because this is for the all. We don't have a selfish one over here. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, collective. This one here is for the all. We're going to put this one through the fast track because it's for the all. <laughs> it's for expansion. And everybody wants to become greater and greater. The universe is forever expanding and evolving because we ain't nothing but energy, frequency, and vibration. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Fast track. That's for the all. So I, I believe that that's, that's very important too because a lot of people just be like, oh, I want a, I want a million dollars. I want what you what, what you willing to give. This is an even exchange. It's always an exchange of energy. What you willing to give? You, you giving back something to the collective or you about to be stingy with yourself? So it's a laugh for me. <laughs> yeah, thank you, sis. This is good, good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nubian. and I appreciate that. Let's see. You are so welcome. You're so welcome. Yeah. But in any case, that's the video. Learning how to ex speak your truth, how you feel really matters. So start today. When somebody asks you how you're doing, tell them how you're feeling. Open up your heart so the world can know how beautiful you really are. That's what we want to see. We want to see your beauty. How to connect to our femininity. Yeah. That's what we were talking about. It starts with opening up your heart. It's talking about how you feel. Because how you feel, man, it's talking about your spoken word. If you missed the beginning of this video, I'm going to upload it to my um, YouTube channel in maybe an hour or two. Once TikTok, you know, allows me to download it. And so you'll be able to catch the beginning because we talked about the feminine aspect of it. It's about a state of being. It's about how you feel. It's about opening up your heart. It ain't about no lipstick and makeup. It ain't about shaking your ass and being able to, you know, sing on microphones. And, and get the bag just because you look good. It's more to it than that. It's the inner work. It's about embodying the totality of who you are, both feminine and masculine, and being okay and understanding that you are God. You represent God. It's knowing when to use feminine energy and knowing when to use masculine energy. And that is very important. That is very important because even women, we have masculine energy inside of us for a purpose. For if we need to learn how to survive, if we need to use it, it's there for a purpose. But you have to be wise as a serpent, yet as gentle as a dove, and know when to exude it and when to not. And exuding it is speaking from the heart. I feel, I feel, I feel, I am, I am, oh, I appreciate, I am. That's it. And speaking more good than the bad, because nobody want to hear nothing about how crappy life is for you. Because if you are being in your feminine grace and essence, life is supposed to be perfect because you are the life force. You are the giver of life to everything that came forth in the physical reality. But it is time when you want to learn how to use feminine energy, you got to give that life force back to you first and fill your cup up. That way you can give it to anybody else. And it don't matter where you are. I go out all the time. Whether I'm with my partner or not, I go out and I use it on strangers. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I feel so excited to be here. I love this restaurant. Oh my God, I've never seen nothing like this before. Even the workers, see, I'm in a new construction community right now. Even the workers across the street, the little Mexican people, they don't even speak English well. They be out, they wake me up and, the, you know, that fast Mexican 
some of the Kimmy Chandler kind of like <laughs> music, right? And I was going outside, walking into the um, meal box, and they were listening to their music and, you know, painting over there across the street. And I used it on them. These are strangers. But I just like to use it. It's like, oh my God, she did that all by herself. Oh, wow. That house is beautiful. You did a great job. Yeah. Your wife ought to be lucky to be with you. Your handyman. Not in a flirtatious way. No. Not in a flirtatious way. Just to, just to show him that I was excited. I feel at awe at this. Knowing that every five houses kind of look like that. Not to dim his light. But every five houses in this new community look like that house. But because he was working on it and he was sweating out there. I just wanted to tell him how I felt. I feel like you're you're really good at this. Are you the same contractor that did mine? Because you seem like you're doing better. I feel excited about this house. This is cute how you did this year. I don't have that. I don't have that. This person's going to be lucky to have that accent on their house. I would appreciate that. I would really appreciate that if I would have had it. But I didn't pick out that particular floor plan. But it really looks good. It's a pretty day, isn't it? Yeah, I felt like coming outside. The front, I normally go in the back, but I, I felt like just coming out and checking the mailbox. So, anyway, I just wanted to say hi to you. Have a good day. People want to see how beautiful you are. What your feel good moments are. Wherever you go, give it, give, give them some, give them some of your goodness.